So these are the five things that you have to know how to find when we are working with a rational function. Domain, vertical asymptote, removable discontinuity, and that's just like a hole on the graph. Horizontal asymptote, and lastly, the range. Now let's start with the domain. Right away, you look at the denominator, and you want to make sure that the denominator is not equal to zero. So part A, we write down x squared minus 6x plus 8, Make sure it's not equal to zero. And then just go ahead and factor it and solve it. x minus 2 times x minus 4 cannot be equal to zero. So that means x cannot be equal to 2 and x cannot be equal to 4. So these right here are the restrictions of the x value that we cannot use for the function because otherwise we'll be dividing by zero, which is not good. And usually for domain and range, we like to write the answer in interval notations. And to do so, look at number line real quick. Let's say here is 2 and here is 4. We do not want these numbers, but anything else, it's okay. So for the first interval, we have negative infinity up to 2. So I will write out negative infinity up to 2. Use parentheses to show that we are not including the n number here. And then union, because we have another piece from 2 to 4. Do not include the 2, do not include the 4. Lastly, union 4 to infinity. Done deal. Alright, now, for the vertical asymptote and removable discontinuity, they usually go together. So be really careful. So this is B and C together. What we want to do is, look at the fraction, factor the top and factor the bottom. So f of x, is equal to, on the top we can factor out as 3, on the bottom is still the same factoring. Now notice, x minus 2 and x minus 2, they cancel each other out, and this right here will give us the removable discontinuity. So rd at x equals 2. And then the remaining one, the one that's still on the bottom, this right here will give you the vertical asymptote at x equal to 4. You do the opposite. So you have to think about how to make this equal to 0. So that's why it's 4. So at x equals 4. So as you can see, earlier for these two numbers, they are the candidates for VA and RD, just like that. And the reason that this is called the removable because you see this and that, they cancel each other, you removed it. But we still have to know that originally x cannot be equal to 2, right? Now, horizontal asymptote, d, this is like some kind of calculus, all right? For horizontal asymptote, you always take the limit as x approaching infinity, and you also do the limit as x approaching negative infinity. Sometimes it matters, so we do both. All right, 3x minus 6 over x squared minus 6x plus 8. 3x minus 6 over x squared minus 6x plus 8. How do we do this? Well, when x is approaching infinity, the easy way to do it is just compare the highest power of x on the top, which is the 3x to the first power, and also the highest power of x on the bottom, which is x squared. Have a look, x and x squared, one of the x cancel out. So this is the limit, x approaching infinity, and we just get 3 over x. As x goes to infinity, 3 over infinity will give us 0. Now, for this one, do the same thing. Compare this and that. So we're looking at the limit as x approaching negative infinity here. And uh, we are looking at 3 over x. But if we have negative infinity on the bottom, 3 over negative infinity, don't say negative 0, it's still just equal to 0. And this right here will give us the horizontal asymptote. And the way that we answer is y equals this number. If it's a finite number, then we have a horizontal asymptote. So I'll just say add y equals 0. And since they are equal, of course, we just have 1. Now, perhaps the trickiest one is the range. 
All right, remember earlier, we start with the original and we factored it and we canceled it. And keep in mind, x cannot be equal to 2. And from here, of course, x cannot be equal to 4. So look at the picture, even though the question didn't ask you to do so, but just look at the picture. All right, starting with 3 over x. 1 over x looks like this, All right? If you have 3 over x, then it's going to look similar. Now, we have x minus 4 on the bottom. That means we take this shift to the right four times. Because originally the vertical asymptote is at 0, right now it's going to be at 4. So let me just say here is 4, and then we have the vertical asymptote. And then I'm just going to sketch the graph like this, and like that. And in fact, you can see that horizontal asymptote is when y is equal to 0. Now, be careful. This right here is the graph, but we still haven't put down this condition yet. x cannot be equal to 2. Well, right here, if x is equal to 2, we will have to go to the graph and then just erase it and then put an open circle, which is a hole, on the graph. And now you see that we are missing a y value here because in order to tell the range, we have to find out all the possible right values. So what's this y value though? Hmm. This right here, it's exactly when we plug in 2 into this x, right? Into this expression, not the original one. If you plug in 2 into the original one, you will get 0 over 0. That tells you that there is a hole. But we want to find out the y value of the hole, then you just put 2 into the cancel diffusion, right? After the reduced version. So just work that out. We will get 3 over 2 minus 4. And that's just 3 over negative 2. And that's it. So this right here is negative 2 thirds. Now, for the range, you see that this curve right here is going straight down, straight up. So y going from negative infinity up to this number. Yeah? So negative infinity up to negative 3 over 2. Do not include this number. And then from here, go to 0. Because this right here for the horizontal asymptote, for this graph, the curve does not cross the horizontal asymptote. So union, negative 3 over 2 to 0. Last part, we picked up from 0, and then you go up to infinity, but we do not include 0. Just like that.